Sports Video Group's Jason Dackman. We're at the NAB Show in Las Vegas, and I am at the Cannon booth, always one of the must-see spots at the show, with a good friend of ours, Rich Eilers of Cannon. Rich, thanks for taking the time. Appreciate it. Oh, it's great to be with you, Jason, and we're very excited to be here at NAB. Cool. And as I said, it's always a fun booth. There's a lot to go over. Sure. So give me that 60,000-foot view of what Canon has on display this year in Vegas. Well, we've done a lot of work in refinements here. I mean, obviously, everybody knows us for the broadcast lens. It's legacy stuff for us. Um, that product lineup is very strong, very stout. But we've started to expand and we've started to refine in some other areas to bring tools to the sports uh, broadcasters, to the, the content creators in this space. Sure. So we've done a few things here where we basically elevated uh, like new 8K flex zoom lenses that we've been able to make very flexible mount changing capabilities so that's really a good you know it's a really good user tool to just have one tool that can be uh, satisfying multiple cameras. Then we've been able to like work with a tool like our R5C, which is a 8K camera, but very small, very nimble, but very capable of doing both video and photo uh, at the same time and providing you with incredible high-res images. Making it more flexible in the live event space is a big deal that we did. We tried to make a lot of like firmware requirements to make that happen. Yeah. Yeah. And then we ended up like moving into the PTZ space. We know that those tools are extremely important in the space. Getting remote shots, getting a God's eye shot somewhere, really helpful in that in that environment. So what we've been able to do is we've been able to provide some interesting tracking software, which our guys will talk about a little bit more as well. And last but not least, we definitely are very excited about our free viewpoint system. Sure. An incredible system. We talked about it at chairman's forum in a case study uh, it's uh, gaining a lot more traction in the market I mean volumetric capture is really a, a important future item in the area of sports and so we're looking to certainly push the ideas and uh, forward in that space awesome well that was quite a sprint rich we're gonna dig in a little deeper uh, from here let's go take a look at the uh, AK flex broadcast lenses We've all right got some great guys to talk to you 8K lenses. Let's be honest, Canon uh, has been one of the leaders over the last few years as they've uh, really entered the ecosystem. I'm here with Josh Stoner. Josh, tell us a little bit about the 8K glass that you guys have at the show this year. Hey, Jason. Uh, this year we released a Super 35 sister to our Flex Zoom line. Um, this is the wide 14 to 35. The full frame version is 20 to 50. Uh, this lens has 8K resolve, HDR. 11 blade iris, um, you can get metadata out for all of your virtual effects and stuff, and it also has a swappable relay. So you can turn the Super 35 14 to 35 with the swappable relay into the 20 to 50 full frame lens. Yeah, it's awesome. very cool. And then this one is super fast at 1.7, the fastest cinema zoom on the market. Right, yeah. And we're obviously seeing cinema tools be used more and more in, in live sports. And, uh, you know, that interchangeable uh, optionality is, is a big part of it. Right? It totally is a big part of it. And we are seeing this a lot more in, in sports as the resolution in sports c comes up and the extraction fields and stuff like that start to happening. This kind of glass is key to getting that image in. Awesome. Josh, always appreciate it. Thanks, man. Thanks, Jason. Anytime. All right, let's talk AK cameras. I'm here with Paul McAniff of Canon. Paul, tell me a little bit about what we're looking at here and how Canon's role within the 8K camera ecosystem is changing. Sure, well, our role within the 8K ecosystem is changing because we have an 8K camera. Um, we have some really remarkable 8K glass that we also came out with. Some of it's uh, legacy glass, some of it's brand new this year. One of the things that we did, though, is is we added some real enhancements to this with firmware. So we've improved the image quality in certain combinations of log settings and codecs that have made for really enhanced picture quality. Uh, this has actually got some great virtual reality capability because we have a uh, we have a dual lens that fits on it. So we have some new enhancements as far as operating within that virtual reality ecosystem. You can now swap between which one of the eyes, quote unquote, that you're going to be watching uh, through when you're shooting sure. that type of content. Right. Um, we also, some of the scopes now can be made bigger and you can relocate them onto the screen so we have this operability and managing your parameters improvement as well. Um, and of course, uh, we improve the battery life. We now have a power saving mode because running 8K yeah. on a little camera with a little battery, right. you know, that, that can pull some juice. So fast. we do have now the ability to extend the battery life, uh, which is very helpful to a lot of people. Very cool. Paul, thanks so much. Appreciate it. We're going to take a look at that 8-gate glass that you mentioned uh, in just a sec. Thanks. Great. 
Another key piece of the Canon ecosystem, obviously PTZ cameras. I'm here with Mike Kearns. Mike, tell us a little bit about some new news on the PTZ front. Well, recently uh, we released the uh, add-on application systems uh, for the CRN 700, that was back in January. Uh, what we announced recently was that the add-on application systems are coming to the CRN 300 and 500. Um, and that means that auto tracking and the auto loop applications will also be available on the CRN 300s and 500s. Um, and what's unique about the add-on application systems, it allows these applications to be run within the camera itself. Uh, so all the processing is done within the camera, making it, uh, making, you know, making it much faster, much more uh, reliable, and much more accurate. Mike, thanks so much, really, really appreciate it. And last but certainly not least, uh, Canon's free viewpoint system, which has generated a lot of buzz and is already installed in the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, as well as with the Cleveland Cavaliers in Cleveland. I am here with Mike Larson. Mike, thanks so much for taking the time. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. So tell us a little bit about free viewpoint and how it's evolved and how you've seen the uptake uh, over the last couple of years. Yeah, Free Viewpoint is a uh, volumetric video capture system, which we've been testing over the last couple of years. Here in the USA, we have it installed in the two NBA arenas that you just mentioned. Um, we've been evolving it over time. It's uh, very active in instant replays. It's very active in social media clips. Last year, we did a live stream uh, of a, a full game with ESPN. Uh, this year, we've been improving the image quality. We've been improving the use. Just last week, the Cavs did a full alternative live stream in the Bally Sports Ohio app. Uh, it's really been a great partnership. We continue to improve, the, to improve the workflow, and the goal is to really offer it on a much wider basis as we move forward from here on out. Cool. Thanks, Mike. We can't wait to see what's next with Canon Free Viewpoint. Uh, it's just a very cool perspective for awesome. sure. Thank you, Absolutely. So uh, that is what is going on at the Canon booth this year. Obviously, no shortage of excitement. Uh, for more on Canon, as well as all the exhibitors here at the NAB show, check out sportsvideo.org and our live from NAB blog.